On May the 2nd, 1986, in the Corsican town or city, uh, let's see. Anyway, during the rally of Corsica, which is an aut autonomous island belonging to France, died in an accident uh, involving the Corsica rally. Mr. Henry Toivonen, a Finnish rally driver, and his uh, Italian-American map reader, Sergio Cresto. Mr. Toivonen had been born in August 1956 in the central Finnish city of Jyväskylä, the home of Rally Finland, or the Rally of Thousand Lakes. He had first won a World uh, Rally Championship race at the 1980 Lombard RAC Rally in Britain. He had indeed been the youngest ever driver ever to win a world rally until his countryman Mr. Jari Matti Latvala won the 2008 Swedish rally at age 22. After driving for Opel and Porsche, Mr. Toivonen was signed by Lancia. Um, he was driving a Lancia Delta S4 when he had the tragic accident while leading the Tour de Corse or Tour of Corsica rally in Corsica. Um, the Lancia which he was driving and where his map, re uh, map reader Sergio Cresto was the passenger for some reason plunged down a rabbin and exploded. The only remains of the car were the merely blackened space frame, make it making it impossible to determine what exactly caused the accident. Within hours of the accident, Mr. Jean-Marie Balestre, then president of the FISA, had banned the powerful Group B rally cars from competing the following season, ending rallying's popular supercar era. Mr. Toivonen started his career in circuit racing and was also very competitive on tarmac. He raced successfully in two World Sports Car Championships events, achieved praise from Eddie Jordan, in whose Formula 3 team Mr. Toivonen made a few guest appearances and impressed in his Formula 1 test for March Grand Prix. The annual race of champions originally organized in Mr. Toivonen's memories awards the winning individual driver the Henry Toivonen Memorial Trophy. Um, he had been seriously injured in 1985 at the rally Costa Smeralda in the European Championship um, by crashing his Lancia 037 into a brick wall, seriously injuring his back and breaking three vertebrae in his neck. He did recover from his injuries uh, to participate at the 1000 Lakes Rally in August 1986 or 1985 finishing fourth. He finished third at the next rally in San Remo, his final event with the car. The 037 did not suit Mr. Toivonen's driving style and had fallen well behind Audi and Peugeot in terms of performance, as it was rear-wheel drive and had only 325 horsepower compared to the 440 of Peugeot and 500 of Audi. Fellow flying Finns, Mr. Timo Salonen and Hanno Mikkola finished second and third at the Monte Carlo rally um, of 1986 after Mr. Toivonen. Mr. Toivonen's father, Pauli Toivonen, had won the event 20 years earlier after 10 cars, including the first four to cross the finish line, were disqualified due to having non-standard headlines. The disqualification had caused an uproar and Prince Renier of Monaco had refused to attend the prize-giving ceremony. Hmm. He was suffering at the time of his fatal crash. Mr. Toivonen was suffering from a sore throat and the flu, but he insisted on driving after having lost his championship lead in the last two rallies. According to several sources, he was also taking anti-fever medicine. 
Despite his ill health, he was taking stage win after stage win and leading the rally by a large margin. Having completed the first leg, Mr. Toivonen had said, This rally is insane even though everything is going well at the moment. If there is trouble, I am as good as dead. He also was complaining about the car being too powerful for a rally like the Tour de Corse. He found it very hard to keep the car balanced on the road and admitted it was very exhausting. In a short interview before he steered his Lancia into the 18th stage, Mr. Toivonen commented um, and thus gave his last public words. Today we have driven the equivalent of a full Juskela or Finnish rally. It's hard to keep up with the speed. Uh, during the second leg on Friday, May the 2nd, 1986, at the seventh kilometer of the 18th stage, Kort Taverna, Mr. Toivonen's Lancia went off the side of the road at a tight left corner with no guardrail. The car plunged down a ravin and landed on its roof. The aluminum or aluminum fuel tank underneath the driver's seat was ruptured by the trees and exploded. There was no skid plate to protect the fuel tank. The explosion happened within seconds of the crash and Mr. Toivonen and his co-driver Mr. Cresto would not have had time to get out had they still been alive. The fire was so intense that the Delta S4 built a fast-burning Kevlar reinforced plastic composite was unidentifiable, unidentifiable as a car afterwards. Both Mr. Toivonen and Mr. Cresto died in their seats. Mr. Toivonen left behind his wife Eria and two young children, son Marcus and daughter Arla, while Mr. Cresto was single with no children. Because there were no close witnesses, Mr. Toivonen's accident remains a mystery 30 years later. Although it was caught on tape by a spectator further down the stage, it proved to be impossible to determine the cause of the crash from the footage. No race marshals were close to the scene to notice the black smoke and no one at the race finish knew about the accident. Mr. Toivonen's team only started to fear something might have happened after he failed to arrive from the stage on schedule. Um, in a later interview with Motorsport News, fellow driver Malcolm Wilson claimed that since the neck injury sustained in his 1985 Costa Smeralda crash, Mr. Toivonen had suffered from random blackouts but did not tell his team because he did not want to lose his place at Lancia. At least one person who attended the aftermath of the accident reported that there were no skid marks on the tarmac fueling speculation that Mr. Toivonen could have suddenly lost consciousness at the wheel, but the cause of the accident is still unknown. Mr. Toivonen was known as a competitive driver both on gravel and tarmac surfaces, and he found it difficult to choose between circuit racing and rallying. During his World Rally Championship career, Mr. Toivonen competed in 40 World Rallies, gathering three wins, nine podium places, 185, 185 stage wins, and retiring 22 times. He was buried in Espoo, Finland's second largest city and the western neighbor of Finland's capital and largest city, Helsinki. Uh, his family had moved there from Jyväskylä when he was still very young. In Corsica, a marble slab dedicated to him and Sergio Cresto was placed at the curb where Mr. Toivonen drove out.